Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, I had the opportunity to spend a little more time with Ms. Jasmine Vialis of Integrated Practice Solutions. She and I collabed online and she wanted to ask me a couple of questions about medical coding because as you know, she's from the billing side of healthcare. So she shared with me some of the clips so that I could share with you on my channel some questions that she asked me. Today's video, she asked me, is anatomy and physiology required for medical coders? So stay tuned as I answer that question. Okay, so do you recommend that a coder have training in anatomy and physiology and why? And you know, that was a debate with the HEMA as well. We introduced, at one time you had to take the in-depth anatomy, bio 210, 211. You had to really focus and get in. But now with Google and with internet access, a lot of times when I'm looking up um, medical conditions to better understand exactly how to code it, I can just Google it. So I do tell my students, you know, use your resources, whether it's a medical dictionary or even go online. So is anatomy, when I was leaving the um, full-time education arena, we did away with in-depth uh, anatomy and physiology and just required an introduction. Because I feel like as a coder, you need to have an idea of what's going on. When you're getting ready to code something, which body system are you dealing with as far as a condition is concerned? I do recommend the medical terminology because that way when you hear a term or you see a term, one, the biggest thing is know the difference between a diagnosis and a procedure. You got to know whether or not you're gonna be using a diagnosis code or procedure code, but, and you'll be amazed people that don't know. So I do recommend the medical terminology probably more so than the anatomy and physiology because with anatomy and physiology, I can Google it. You can actually Google a medical term as well, but when you're up against the clock with productivity, mm -hmm. you can't Google every single thing. So if I can read a chart and understand what body systems involved and whether or not the diagnoses that were rendered were actually diagnoses or procedures, mm -hmm. that speeds it up even faster. Absolutely. That is great advice. That is great advice. I think I would agree 100%. I think it's always helpful for people to be familiar mm -hmm. uh, with the overall topic of anatomy and physiology, really understanding the body systems. But I, I think that somehow, you know, what when you think of the the deeper study of anatomy and physiology, it becomes uh, a topic that just goes a little bit too far in depth for what they might need, especially if we're talking about one particular specialty. Um, there are some specialty pro coding programs out there or the certificates like uh, AAPC has the ones that are specialized um, mm -hmm. for, for a you know, particular specialty type. And I, I think that they go into a little bit of superficial anatomy and a little bit deeper into the anatomy and physiology, but it's, it's, it is appropriate for that specialty. So like the eye, you know, right. there's so many parts. If someone is studying ophthalmology coding or optometry code, it's ophthalmology, it's its own specialty. Most times in your, your basic classes, you won't necessarily learn about that. But if you're wanting to work for an ophthalmologist, you're going to want to know a little bit more than most people know <laughs> about the eye. So right. I, I agree. Right. I think that's kind of like with, with anesthesia coding, how you have the additional code that you have to apply with your CPT code for anesthesia, but you got to understand exactly what kind of procedures being performed and then what kind of anesthesia is being administered to know which anesthesia code to apply. So right, right. Yeah. It's, it's specialty oriented type coding. You're right. Right, right. So maybe going deeper once you've decided or committed to a specialty would be right. would be helpful. But superficial is probably best. Otherwise, you're, you're really going down the track of what a, a provider would do <laughs> if you really go right. far in depth of anatomy and physiology, and that's its own practice <laughs> in itself. So right, right. Interesting. 